Hi, I'm Yafra Khan from Skill Carb. We will start working with the Google Cloud SDK. The first step is to figure out what our prerequisites are and configure them. The next step is to install the Google Cloud SDK on our local machine. Once our SDK is installed, we need to configure our Google Cloud service account and download the credentials. As an example, we will use VS Code to use the Python client library for accessing BigQuery service. Now let's get started. If you do not have an account, Click on get started for free. Since I already have an account, I'll click on sign in. So from here, we can install the Google Cloud CLI installer. When we click finish, the CLI opens automatically. We can see that the configuration is automatically set to default. To verify that your SDK has been installed correctly, use the command gcloud version. So here we can see our SDK's version as well as BQ core and GSUtil version. Now the next step is to create a Google Cloud service account because our program will need to access our cloud resources on our behalf. For that, we'll go to console, click on I am an admin, and from the left pane, go to service accounts. So I already have a service account for the BigQuery service, so I'll use that. For this lab, we need to create a key for our service account in order to connect our Python program to our account. Go to the three vertical bars under Actions. Click on Manage Keys. From here, click on Add Key. And click on Create New Key. The key type will be JSON. So when we click on create, this will automatically download the JSON file containing our key to our local machine. As this is a private key, you need to keep it secure and never share it with anyone. In order to verify that your service account is active and accessible through your SDK, we need to run the following command in the CLI. So here we can see all the service accounts associated with our Google Cloud account. So now we will open Visual Studio Code and start writing the Python program for this lab. We will be accessing the BigQuery API through our Python client library. To create a new file on VS Code, The first step is to let our IDE find our service account credentials in order to connect us to the desired Google Cloud service. So for that we will write, this over here is the path to the JSON file containing the key for our service account. Now the next step is to import the BigQuery from google.cloud. Now we will create a BigQuery client object. Now we are ready to write our query. This query uses one of the public data sets from BigQuery. This data set contains all the questions posted in the Stack Overflow website. And this query filters this data set and fetches only those questions which contain the tag Google BigQuery. It retrieves the top 10 questions based on the number of views. Now we need to make an API request using this line. Now we will wait for the query job to complete. 
For printing the query result, we will use for loop to traverse through the results row by row. And then we will print the URL for the questions and the number of views. Now we will run this program in the terminal. We can see the results of our query. Here are the top 10 most viewed questions on Stack Overflow containing the tag Google BigQuery. I hope this lab clearly explains the installation of Google Cloud SDK along with the usage with the help of an example code in order to help you get going with your interaction with the Google Cloud resources. Thank you.